today's review is for Terminator Dark Fate, directed by Tim Miller and stars Linda Hamilton, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mackenzie Davis, Gabriel Luna, Natalia Reyes, and is a direct sequel to Terminator Judgment Day, ignoring the three other films that came after, and is about a genetically enhanced soldier named Grace who is sent from the future to save a woman named Danny from an advanced Terminator who is sent to kill her. And they run into Sarah Connor, who agrees to help them on their journey to keep Danny safe, and they eventually meet an aging Terminator, who also agrees to assist them on their adventure. Now, I just want to do the usual and say that, of course, I think the original Terminator was a great movie, and its sequel, Judgment Day, is one of my favorite movies of all time. And while Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines wasn't as good, I did like it enough to consider it acceptable to the franchise. But yeah, I agree that Salvation and Genesis were pretty unimpressive and are easily the two worst films in the series. So when I heard that James Cameron will be teaming up with Deadpool director Tim Miller to make a sequel to fix the franchise by ignoring all the other movies that came after the second film, I wasn't that excited, but I was hoping that it could at least somewhat good, especially since Linda Hamilton was officially confirmed to return to the franchise after 28 years. And now I saw the film and, well, to be honest, I didn't really like it that much. It's honestly another not very good Terminator movie once again. I wouldn't necessarily say it's an all around terrible movie, but it does lean close enough to being bad. Starting off with what I liked, Linda Hamilton returning as Sarah Connor, she was great. It was great to see her pick up some guns and just blowing Terminators away once again. They did a pretty good job at continuing her character from Terminator 2, and she was certainly one of the best parts of this entire movie. Also, of course, I should mention Arnold once again playing a Terminator is always a plus. Like, even if he's in a Terminator movie that's bad, like Terminator Genesis or something, you know that Arnold will always be the best part of it. I mean, I didn't like Genesis, but I thought he was easily the best part of that movie. It's just a shame that he wasn't actually in Salvation. That would have been great if he was. And yeah, he once again kills it in this movie. But this time, not only does he have some of the most humorous parts of the movie, but they even in a way tried to give him some pretty decent character development, which doesn't really serve too much to the overall story, but I do appreciate that they tried to do something a little bit more nuanced with this specific Terminator that Arnold plays in this movie. Also, I actually really liked the secondary main character, Grace. I thought she had decent development, she had a backstory that was pretty compelling, and I even thought that she was another really badass addition to the franchise, and I even thought that the conclusion to her character in this film was really good as well. And Mackenzie Davis was actually really amazing as Grace. I really dug her in this movie. And sure, the action is a lot of fun. This film has some pretty amazing fight sequences. The best one in the whole movie being the final battle that takes place at this hydro power plant. It was amazing with the effects and choreography that was put into the scene, and definitely felt like the type of fighting you'd want to see in a Terminator movie. It was pretty amazing, I'm not gonna lie. But anyways, as for things I didn't like, there was quite a bit. For one thing, the character of Danny is not really that great of a character. She's supposed to be a young Sarah Connor in this film, but... Her character doesn't really have any kind of badass or emotional weight to her at all. I mean, there are a couple scenes of her that are tolerable, but she's overall just a really bland protagonist. Also, there are certain things about the movie I just that just didn't really make sense to me. And sadly, I can't say any of what that is because, spoilers, but there were things about this movie I just didn't really fully understand. Now, maybe I just didn't get it on the first viewing, and if maybe I were to watch the movie again, it would make more sense. But for now, I, I didn't get it. It was pretty muddled. Also, I feel like the new Terminator antagonist, the Rev-9, played by Gabriel Luna, was sort of wasted potential. I mean, you have this new advanced Terminator, which actually, yeah, is essentially a rebooted male version of the TX from Terminator 3. But the one idea they, they had to make this Terminator much more deadly than the TX was that it could have its liquid metal actually separate from its endoskeleton, 
creating two Terminator bodies that can cooperate together. And that could make for a really threatening Terminator. But the Rev-9 doesn't even really feel like that much of a threat, to be honest. Like, sure, he has some moments that are pretty cool, like where he separates his liquid from his endoskeleton, and when he uses said liquid metal to hack into computers, but there was never a moment where I was genuinely afraid of this thing. Yeah, I was disappointed by the Rev-9 in the end. Not to mention, the second biggest issue I have with this movie is... Well, let's face it, it's basically the, just the same, it's basically just, the film basically tells the same story as the first two Terminator movies. You know what I'm talking about. Someone is sent to the past from the future to protect someone from a Terminator that has been sent to assassinate them. You see? Now, I've, t I've had this kind of problem with good movies as well, but here it's definitely one of those scenarios that just makes me say, R Really? You're doing this again? Sometimes, the characters in the movie even say certain things about that themselves, as if that'll make it more acceptable. But it just doesn't. It just, I mean, it didn't make me angry, but it's just easily the most simple thing they could do for this sequel. And finally, there's a key scene in this movie that actually genuinely pissed me off and made me question why they would do that. And I'm not going to talk about it in depthly because this scene is actually the biggest spoiler of the movie. But, yeah, this is a scene that genuinely made me angry and confused. I didn't know why they would do this. So, yeah, despite enough positives I could mention, I did not think Terminator Dark Fate was that good. Granted, I did kind of like it more than Salvation or Genesis, but it's once again just yet another stale installment to a franchise that... In all honesty, it should have just ended with the second or third movie. It shouldn't have gone on to become this big saga that is worthy of like Star Wars or anything like that. It's really not worth it like that. It should have just stopped where it was necessary. Say whatever you want about Rise of the Machines, I personally thought that film did better justice to the franchise and even John Connor and even had the pure perfect ending to the trilogy and they had to remove that movie from the canon so they can make this. Which honestly just really lets me down. I'm going to give Terminator Dark Fate a 3 out of 10. Honestly, at this point, I've actually kind of grown tired of new Terminator movies. And it really should have just stopped at 3. Or maybe at least 2. Whether, whichever way you look at it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'll see you next time. And... Peace out.